Good Monday morning. Intel CEO, Brian Krasanek, still faces plenty of questions about the chipmaker's response to the meltdown and Spectre security flaws. Jared Kushner is under more scrutiny for his family business's ties to Israeli companies. And why farmers are worried about the tax overhaul. Questions Brian Krasanek is likely to face about as he prepares for a keynote speech at the biggest convention in consumer electronics. How well will planned fixes work against Meltdown and Spectre, the two computer chip security flaws that affect most of the world's processors? Can Intel design new chips without either of the problems? Were the $39 million worth of stock sales he made in November, after the flaws were discovered but before they were disclosed, really just part of a prearranged trading plan, what he would prefer to talk about, augmented reality and self-driving cars. Today's talking point, from Nathaniel Fick, the CEO of the cybersecurity company Endgame. In an NYT op-ed The Tech Fly-Around, CES edition the convention's organizers said they were seeking more women speakers. CNET, Google is preparing to step up its fight against Amazon's Echo. FT, super-fast 5G wireless internet will be a big focal point of the convention. Business Insider Underscore 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 book briefing was written by Andrew Ross Sorkin, at Andrew Sorkin, in New York, and Michael J. DeLamer said, at M underscore DeLamerst, and Amy Tsung at Amy Tsung, in London underscore 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 on the highlights from last night's awards, where the uniform was black to acknowledge systemic harassment and sexism in Hollywood Oprah Winfrey who received the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement, used her acceptance speech as a call to arms, saying, A new day is on the horizon. Speculation has arisen about whether she might run for president. The actresses Deborah Messing and Eva Longoria used red carpet interviews to chastise the E. Network on Gender Pay Inequity Several actresses arrived with activists as their guests The actress Natalie Portman, introducing the Best Director Award, said, Here are the all-male nominees. The host Seth Meyers quipped. It's been years since a white man was this nervous in Hollywood. The misconduct fly around an array of start UPS is offering resources for women and companies to halt harassment at work. W.A. Poe, Maria Contreras Sweet, an investor and former Obama administration official, is said to be the front runner to buy the Weinstein Company, according to unnamed sources. Deadline the National Limousine Association cited number Me Too in its latest ad attacking apps like Uber and LYFT. NYT, Carrie Gracie, a senior editor for BBC News, stepped down from as China editor in a protest against pay inequality, calling the broadcaster's salary system secretive and illegal. NYT, Revelations about more ties between the Kushner companies and Israeli businesses like the insurer Menorah Miftakim have raised questions about Jared Kushner's wealth and the complicated relationships that his family's company has around the world. Particularly given Mr. Kushner's role as a top envoy for Middle Eastern peace, as well as a senior advisor in his father-in-law's White House. Caveat the NYT says that recent deals don't appear to violate federal ethics laws, and Mr. Kushner appears not to have been personally involved. He has sold stakes in some Kushner company's properties, 
like the 666 Fifth Avenue office building Indiana Midtown Manhattan. The poll quote, from Robert Weissman of the nonprofit government ethics group Public Citizen The Washington Flyer Round Steve Bannon has backed away from remarks quoted in Fire and Fury, Michael Wolff's book on the Trump White House. NYT, Fire and Fury leads Amazon's list of best-selling books. Amazon, Breitbart appears to need Mr. Bannon less than he needs it. NYT, which big companies have been trying to poach Rob Porter, the White House's staff secretary? Axios, the Brookings Institution will hold a discussion today, led by Ben Bernanke on whether it's time to permanently replace the 2% inflation target. Brookings, Mr. Trump does not know how to use bilateral trade negotiations to create pressure for stronger multilateral rules, argues Robert Zulick, the former World Bank president who served in both Bush administrations. WSJ, Mr. Trump will head to Tennessee today to promote the tax overhaul. But the farm industry has reason to dislike some of his economic policies. From Anna Swanson and Jim Tankersley of the NYT and industry breathing a sigh of relief, analysts expect a tax windfall for retailers, especially domestically focused ones like Nordstrom and those targeting high end consumers, according to the WSJ. Celgene agreed to buy Impact Biomedicines, which makes blood disease drugs. It will pay between $1.1 billion and $7 billion, depending on performance. WSJ, Hershey and Ferrero are among those vying for Nestle's American candy business, according to unidentified people. CNBC, expect buying sprees from big tech companies this year but relatively few i.p.o.s from Silicon Valley start UPS. CNBC, dealmakers are now on the clock, especially if you believe that the bull market is in its waning stages and the Federal Reserve is serious about interest rate hikes. Barron's, the hedge fund's first campaign for its JANA Impact Capital Fund, prod Apple into finding ways to reduce children's addiction to iPhones. From the campaign's public letter to the tech titan who's helping JANA, the big California pension fund known as CalSTRS. Also on board as advisors are the musician Sting and his wife, Trudy Styler, sister Patricia Daly, a nun who took on ExxonMobil over environmental issues, and Robert Ecclesiastes, a sustainability expert. The bigger picture, Jana is wading into corporate social responsibility an area that Wall Street has only recently started dabbling in, the WSJ reports. Firms like TPG have raised social impact funds, but no major activist fund has started campaigns focused specifically on getting companies to act better from a social standpoint. He explains with some math in this week's time. Guest edited by Bill Gates America's population should grow by about 0.8% a year, between births and immigration assuming annual gains in real GDP continue to be about 2%, that means the US will deliver about 1.2% growth in per capita GDP. What? That means in real terms, in 25 years. GDP per head would go from $52,000 to $79,000. The poll quote speaking of Mr. Buffett, now that Class A shares in his Berkshire Hathaway conglomerate have surpassed $300,000 each they closed on Friday at $301,525. The WSJ looked at which of its products that could buy you. Then Dogecoin the parody virtual currency inspired by an animal meme may be your ticket to digital riches. Its market capitalization surpassed $2 billion on Saturday and was hovering just under that level this morning. A potentially big initial coin offering, 
the messaging app Telegram plans to create its own virtual currency and hopes to raise as much as $500 million in a pre-sale ICO, according to TechCrunch Marcelo Clore, the CEO of Sprint, and Rajiv Misra, the head of SoftBank's Vision Fund, will join Uber's board following the ride-hailing giant's share sale to a SoftBank-led group. What happened when the U.S. tried to hold a Swiss banker personally accountable for creating accounts for Americans hiding money from tax collectors? NYT, Saudi Aramco, along with some of the kingdom's biggest companies, will raise pay after a royal order extended handouts to government workers to ease discontent over prices. Bloomberg Martin Shkreli is no longer around to deflect attention from a play by drug companies, to start prices high, then raise them incrementally. NYT, Mexico is rejecting one of the Trump administration's NAFTA demands, a provision that could block its truckers from making deliveries into the middle of the U.S., NYT, Indians are proving reluctant to switch to digital payments despite intensive efforts by the government and global technology companies. NYT, Sweatcoin, an app offering rewards for exercise, has raised about $1.6 million in financing and expects to close another round soon. NYT, the distribution system for legal marijuana sales in California is already showing signs of strain. WAPO China's investment banks have taken some big names public in Hong Kong, but they haven't extended the strength in initial public offerings further. Bloomberg, SpaceX successfully launched a U.S. government spacecraft called Zuma and landed its rocket back on Earth. CNBC, Chinese movie audiences showed little love this past weekend for Star Wars, The Last Jedi which has collected $1.2 billion worldwide. Deadline, the latest to be punished in the LIBOR benchmark manipulation scandal is a former Royal Bank of Scotland trader, Neil Danziger. He was fined $338,000 and banned from working in finance. Bloomberg, want this in your own email inbox? Here's the sign up. You can find live updates throughout the day at newyorktimes.com slash dealbook. We'd love your feedback as we experiment with the writing, format, and design of this briefing. Please email thoughts and suggestions to bizday at newyorktimes.com.